हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल डायनामिक फिजिक्स बाय प्रोफेशनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ ऑटोमेटेड प्लग इन यूजिंग द डाटा वर्स एक्सीटर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड लर्न हाउ टू ओपन द डाटा वर्स एक्सीटर एप हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑटोमेटेड प्लग इन यूजिंग द डाटा वर्स एक्सीटर एप ट्रिगर ऑटोमेटेड प्लग इन ऑन क्रिएट ऑफ एन एंटिटी trigger automated plugin on update of an entity and we would update a record using power f power fx in dataverse accelerator so our use case scenario is when a contact is created in the crm update the job title to manager and whenever an account record is updated we would update the main form so now let us jump to make.powerapps.com in the web browser So yes now i would be searching for make.powerapps.com so my environment is selected that is g365 professional now navigate to apps and here you will select all and here below you would be uh, seeing the dataverse accelerator so this is the dataverse accelerator app just click on this play button and your dataverse accelerator app will load so now you would be seeing this button new plugin so select this and then now in this video we would be covering automated plugin so we will select this and later we would also be covering instant plugin in later videos so now i am selecting automated plugin we would be giving the display name that is on create we would give it like update job title on contact create and selecting the table as contact so table is contact and now so my trigger would be on create of contact so i am selected this created and here we have to write our power fx so as per your understanding as per your business logic you can add any logic here using the power fx so for now i have to just update the job title of the contact record so for that i am writing the power fx so we would use patch function patch and the entity name would be contacts then this record comma we would be using curly braces and here we have all the fields we need to update the job title and here we would write the value what we have to update in the job file title i'm selecting here manager and just close this curly braces and yes my power fx is completed for this small requirement so here as per your requirement you can also run this plugin as pre operation and post operation and here in the solution in this drop down you will see the list of all the solutions available and in which solution you want to add this plugin you can select that so now i'm just clicking on the save yes now secondly i'm creating my second plugin Uh, that would run on update of account record and we would be updating the main phone of that account record so for that we would again click on this new plugin then automated plugin we would be giving the display name as update main phone on account update we would be selecting the table as account and here now we would run this when the record will be 
updated. So we have different triggers created, updated and deleted. We would give as per our requirement. So I have given updated. Now in the expression, I would write the power effects to update the main phone. I would using the patch function again. Now I'm selecting the entities as accounts. Then this record. Then comma, curly braces. Then we would be searching for the main phone and we would be giving the main phone value updating for example 959595 and then close the curly braces so yes let's save it so my both the automated plugins run successfully so now in order to test these plugins let me go to my sales hub app I'm launching my sales up. Now let me go to my contact entity and here my trigger would be when a contact is created we would be updating the job title of that contact record. So now I need to create a new contact. So I will click on this new button giving the first name as Anurag, last name I am giving as Yagi. And if I save it, you will see the job title updated successfully. And my second plugin trigger is whenever an account record got updated, we would be updating the main form. So, for example, this is an account that is already created. And I would be updating it. For example, I'm just updating the account name. So now the account name is only a datum. And if I save it, you will see the phone will get updated. So I will save it. So you will see the phone get updated as per our power FX logic that we implemented in our automated plugin. So this way you can use data works accelerator to create low code automated plugin using power effects so hope this helps thank you